Hi, I'm Mika. You know, myself and my husband, Kabir, we just moved into this uh, locality, a posh locality. And uh, the neighbors, Mr. Mehras, right? They were super rich. We could actually see them just by peeking over the compound and the lifestyle. Whoa. Now that's when certain things started creeping into our head, na? We should steal from them, right? So we started planning, mastermind, no? We started planning a heist. And uh, my husband, Kabir, he was like actually uh, trying to coax me, push me like a bulldozer into befriending uh, Mrs. Mehra. The thing with these Mehras, right? They don't come out often. It's either the maid or the watchman coming for a chores or taking the puppy for a dog. You know, the puppy's name is actually Pingu. Ah, nice, na? Quirky name, Pingu. Uh, so, we planned, you know, the, the better way to actually get the acquaintance was the puppy, the next best thing. So, what I did, because my husband was pushing, I went and tried to befriend uh, Pingu and uh, finally Pingu uh, <laughs> warmed up to me, we became friends and whenever I go, he comes out and uh, we started playing and uh, still no sign of Mr. Mehra or Miss Mehra outside. Now, Kabir is actually, you know, restless, you know, when do we do this, when do we get our hands into all these things, you know, the mind of a robber. Okay, so what happened, uh, one fine morning, uh, Mrs. Mehra was out, taking the puppy for a walk. Ah, nice, that's my cue. I jumped, I went and I started talking. Now, Mrs. Mehra was like, oh, what's this woman doing over here? And uh, when Pingu started uh, playing around me, she became okay, super. No, then we started talking, regular women talk, gossiping, uh, what is, what's, what's for lunch at your place, what are you doing and all that. And I started warming up to them. Now I went to the stage where I could just ring the bell, go into the house, walk straight to the kitchen and ask Mrs. Mehra, Mehra ma'am, um, no coffee powder, can I borrow some? That's how we became close. All right, now, this was the time Kabir was waiting for, D-Day. We planned something and I walked into Mera's house. Kabir is at home, walking, tensed up. Uh, after some time, he became morbid because I wasn't out, I didn't come out. And he was like, oh my God, is she caught? Have they found out? All these things going on in his head. I took my sweet time. After three hours, I came out of the house, carefully locked the door behind my back, and I kept a straight face. Walked up to my house. I was actually holding myself from looking back. You know? Somebody following me, have they found out? And I just walked straight to my house, opened the door, closed it quietly. You should have seen us then. We, I was looking at him, he was looking at me, so many questions. And finally I started that evil villainish smile. Mm -hmm. Done. <laughs> he was like, whoa, super, yeah. what did you do? Are you done? Like, yes. Didn't they suspect you? I said, no. I gave them quite so many reasons. I was like literally frantically telling, uh, I have to send a mail to my office. Uh, my wife is not working. I somehow have to send it. I'm seriously frantic. And finally, Mrs. Mera gave me her Wi-Fi password. Oh, awesome. You know, that was it. You know, we, you no, know, myself, Kabir, we are like typical uh, middle class. Thousand bucks a month for Wi Fi? Oh my god, that's a big hole in my pocket. That was a big heist. Thank you.